I actually find it extremely interesting that after the most recent events regarding Aaron Yeager and the situation that he's been put into, that a lot of people have literally come to hate Gabby as a character. Not as a joke, not as a meme, but generally have hatred for her. The reason I find this funny is because the same reasons that a lot of people hate Gabby is also the same reasons on why they should hate Aaron. Funny enough, Aaron and Gabby are two sides of the same coin. They parallel each other very beautifully, and they show a very harsh, realistic nature from both Paradise and Eldia's perspective with Aaron Yeager, but then we also get Gabby's perspective from Marley. I've really come to enjoy how Isayama uses Gabby as a character how he portrays her, how the morality within her character and how she views certain situations is extremely convoluted. Both mentally and emotionally, she is conflicted, especially within the most recent events, the self-reflection of Gabby's character and what she came to understand from it. Paradise and the people within it is almost heartwarming that everything that Marley has done up to this point to her, specifically to hate Eldians to any extent that these people are the devil. She has broken that ideology that's been instilled into her. She's realized that Eldians aren't as bad as Marley portray them to be, that these are just people wanting to live just like everyone back over on Marley. What Gabby done to Eren specifically was not wrong. If anything, it was one of the best things that she could have done. From our perspective as readers, we're not meant to agree with that action because we've been with Eren Yeager for so long. We've seen his moral confliction. We've seen his evolution through his character stages and his interaction with different people. Seeing him meet some sort of demise to that extent, whether it's legitimate or not, it's pretty heartbreaking and surprising, especially coming from a character that doesn't really have that much importance at the moment. But like I said, Isayama has been building her up. She is meant to be playing a different perspective on morality from Marley's perspective. And us as readers viewing that should someone be compelled to hate Gabby, but if you look a little bit deeper, we're actually meant to like her as a character. We're meant to feel sorrow for her. We're meant to not forgive, but understand where she's coming from. A child raised in a very malicious place, being manipulated and warped to hate a certain race, not by her own regards. A child turned warrior to sacrifice herself to any extent to take down Eldians. We're not meant to hate Gabby as a character, but we're meant to hate what she's been taught, what she's been manipulated into thinking, what ideologies have been ingrained into her. I can't help but feel sorry for Gabby after witnessing all the hatred that she's getting now from viewers that don't necessarily understand her character. What she is is doing is correct on her behalf. Even after having her self-reflection and realization that not all Eldians are bad people, seeing Aaron Yeager with so much power, so much hatred, so much passion and desire to obliterate everything is a scary thing. First hand seeing Aaron destroy Marley, seeing the casualties of war, the amount of innocent men, women and children that Aaron killed right in front of Gabby's eyes. Of course there is hatred towards Aaron specifically, not because of his motives or his morality but because of what he done. What he is doing may be benevolent to all of that because no one else will do it. A sacrifice that had to be made so they can be somewhat of a future potentially where peace may exist. To what extent, however, I'm not entirely sure, but Gabby's actions towards Aaron and trying to kill him and successfully taking off his head with a rifle, if that event actually went down and wasn't manipulated by the founding tide nor the memories or anything along those lines, is perfectly justified to her right. She's scared of Aaron. Just like a majority of Paradise is scared of Aaron. Just like Marley is scared of Aaron. Like I said, the casualties of war is very brutal. He has caused a lot of death and destruction on his behalf. It may be for a better future, but in his eyes, something that had to be done. In similar cases, that is exactly the same way Gabby is thinking. Even with her self-reflection on Eldians, I don't expect her mentality or her morality to change ever so quickly. I don't expect her to become buddy-buddy with Eldians to any extent. But the fact that she is growing, learning, and understanding after the experience of being around Eldians, after the interaction and the love and affection that she's somewhat got from Eldians, has really put things in perspective perspective for her. She's understood that Marley and what Marley do is not good. That Marley instill these ideologies of hatred within their children and groom them to become child warriors, sacrificial soldiers. It's a destructive thing. It's a circle of hatred, which is something 
that Attack on Titan's foundation is built upon, Marley continue to groom their children to hate Eldians. And Gabby, for the most part, is one of the first children that we've seen that has been so manipulated and warped to such an extent, finally come to the realization that Eldians aren't as bad as they are. They're not the bad people. They're not as devilish as Marley made them out to be. This is a very big step in a very brightful future. She is somewhat the link to breaking the circle of hatred. This doesn't justify what Eren's done. This doesn't stop Marley from continuously doing this, but this is a massive step. This is why Gabby is such an influential character, such an important character to the story. Eren Jaeger and Gabby are so similar to that extent, just from different perspectives. Eren and his childhood and what he was used for and what he turned into with his ideology from Paradise, and Gabby with Marley and what she was raised to be. There's so much confliction and so many issues convoluted into one another, into Gabby's ideology and into Eren's ideology, that weave into each other almost perfectly. What Gabby done wasn't wrong. She done everything in her path to take down a very powerful character that could obliterate the world if he wanted to. She doesn't understand Eren's goal. No one understands Eren's goal. Even his friends are somewhat scared of him. The people that he was raised with are scared of him. They don't know what he's doing. And neither does Gabby. In that sense, Gabby has become a very influential character to start potentially things and push things into motion for future children to come, for Eldians, for Marlians to come to learn and accept one another to a certain extent. She is the starting point for it. Falco and Colt are other pivotal points that connect on with Gabby to some extent. We don't even need some sort of flashback or backstory for Gabby to make the importance of her character revolutionary. We've already got that. We got that from Zeke's perspective and we got that from Reiner's perspective, their backstory and what happened to them as children. We got the harsh reality of what happens to children and what happened to them. And this is what has happened to Gabby. And the fact that we spent so much important time with her from that perspective is a very big step in a new direction. If Gabby outlives potentially all of this without turning into a Titan Shifter or being killed to any extent, she could push forward a new generation. She could go back to Mali and try and stop the government or the military over there from using children to such an extent, from from manipulating them and warping them into these warriors that hate a specific race to instill fear into them that they have to sacrifice themselves to destroy these people. She is vitally important to that regard. Eren is literally the other side of the coin. What she'd done and the choices that she's made up to this point are not deemed wrong. She's been pushed to become this character and everything that she's doing is deemed worthy in her eyes, is correct, is right, taking out evil people. We know that's not the case, but we didn't. If we didn't know the history of Eldia and Marley, we wouldn't know who to agree with. So it's only fair to say that Gabby and didn't know the history either, yet she's come to this conclusion on her own regard without knowing anything, which is even more impressive. She doesn't know the history. She's come off personal experience, and you can see her every single time. She's so emotionally broken because she's so young, she doesn't understand everything. She flares up in anger or tears. She is completely broken to that extent emotionally. Seeing that reiterate time and time again with the interactions that she has, she doesn't really know how to act. That is a, a pivotal showcase on people grooming her to believe in a certain extent to such a certain extent when that character tries to go against it, that something doesn't add up here, that Eldians show some sort of love and affection towards them, it breaks that ideology that's been instilled into her since day one. And it causes this corruption within emotion and mentality. It can scar someone completely. It can break the way they think and how they're meant to react to things. I think her reaction towards Eren and the actions that she took are well and truly justified. Eren is deemed as a massive threat and if put in her position with the knowledge that she knows and the little information that she knows about the history between everything, it would make sense to take out the biggest threat that could potentially destroy the world, falling back on the ideologies that she was raised and groomed to begin with, but not in the sense of hatred, but in the sense of saving everyone. To that extent, she's also trying to be benevolent, trying to kill Aaron by shooting him. Even after everything that we've seen, even after Falco in front of her eyes turns into a titan, there could be some hatred there, but I don't think it's general hatred for the sake of it being general hatred, but more so a small portion of hatred mixed with something that she has to do to stop this from happening again, from stopping Eren from destroying a place similar to Mali, or hurting innocent civilians, to stop Zeke and Eren turning innocent people into Titans. To that extent, she's being benevolent, which it seems like prior towards it, she realistically didn't have. The hatred towards Eldian was slowly drifting away, and she was changing and evolving into something else. 
For me, Gabby is a very important character. She has a lot of weight behind her, and every bit of panel time we get from her, I actually generally enjoy it. I think Isayama is using her as a very beautiful and tragic example of young children within Mali and how manipulated they truly are. What she's doing isn't wrong. It's what she was raised to believe in, it's what she was groomed to do. She is a child warrior to sacrifice herself to kill Eldians, to become a titan shifter. But there is a much bigger picture here. Her growth, her development, element, her accepting that Eldians aren't bad people is a massive step in the undoing of Marley's manipulation of children. She is a very pinnacle pillar in the continuation for it, and the future of Marley's children to come, potentially. So with that being said, that is basically it. Let me know how you feel about Gabby. I know a lot of people generally just dislike her character, which is perfectly fine, but hopefully this has opened up your eyes a little bit more, that she's more than just a character that has obliterated Aaron at this point. She's very important. She plays a different morality, a different perspective, and I think it's important to understand that to a certain extent. But I'm actually going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.